Well, hello, YouTubers, uh, young and old. It's all the SW here uh, in the Might Constantia World Tour, episode number three. The sun is jumping up a bit there. I hope it's going to be okay. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd update you all on a few things. Um, I need to get some wood, and I thought I'd show you this awesome axe of mine. Um, because one of the first things you really struggle with in might is just getting wood. But when you have um, efficiency for tree felling too, this is what it looks like. Bam, and bam, and you're done. That's it. That's pretty easy, isn't it? In fact, I'd argue that that's quicker than in vanilla Minecraft. You just get rid of that leaf, then it does the two blocks above, and this one will do the three, and that's it. So yeah, I wanted to get some wood. So yeah, axes are very useful things. Um, battle axes, even better. So um, I also wanted to show you something about sugarcane, or reeds as I sometimes call them incorrectly. We've got a lot here for food and making paper and stuff. And again, when you start out, you go... Uh, like that and then move on to the next one um, and you should always leave that bottom one so that you can come back and get more later but when you've got an axe yeah that's the way to do it how's that huh so three and a bit stacks of that and it doesn't do much damage to your axe as it turns out um lol okay leaves don't seem to decay without wood for some reason i don't know why um but yes i wanted to show you some other stuff in our base firstly um i've been mining a bit of iron and because we've got an iron farm we don't need it sorry if these guys are a bit loud i might uh, just make sure the sound is down at least there like that so you can hear me while i'm here let's look at statistics uh i wanted to know I've minutes played 1.3 days? That's a long time. Um, fallen 200 metres, climbed 9 kilometres. Uh, damage dealt, look at that. Damage taken, oh that's not, that's pretty good. Mob kills, 1388. Number of deaths, 1. That's pretty good, I'm happy about that. About uh, blocks, I don't know. Mind a fair number, look at that, 4,000 um, items made. That can't be right, I haven't made 4,000 picks. No way. Anyway, all interesting stuff. Uh, don't disconnect, back to game. So I wanted to just show you that I've been mining, um, mainly for Mithril, uh, and come across some iron, and we don't really need it, so got it as a bit of a block for aesthetics. And this is where we have our emeralds. We don't have too many at the moment. Coming downstairs to the base part, that's where the uh, iron golems get crushed. Um, we now have a mithril anvil. While I'm here, let me just repair this. Um, and this is our iron chest and it's a magic pudding because you can take iron and it will refill never empties pretty much never empties uh, you can see there we have about a thousand iron ingots um, this actually is um, hoppers and chests all the way back up to the iron golem grinder so yeah it's got a lot of capacity to sp store iron how's that music so it sounds a bit loud to me i like the music but let's just turn it down 10 percent. yeah 
Um, okay, so yeah, uh, and we've got some chest over here. We've started two kits, the end kit, for when we get to the end, theoretically. Don't know what all that sand's doing in there. And this is our try and find the stronghold kit. 13 eyes of ender and I've just we just upgraded this version to the version where throwing those will actually show us where that is which is pretty cool so we should be able to actually go on that journey I might wait for Nemec and we can go together um, you can see I'm level 38 I've been grinding oh before we go down there I want to show you how and why I managed to get to level 38 oh that's our little map area um, this is where we are right now. Um, this way is to spawn up that way. And uh, yeah, we haven't filled in, or Nemec hasn't filled in all those. I haven't had much to do with them. So let me show you. We now have this little area behind that painting, which is quite cool, a secret door. Um, and we've got a minecart track. So um, let's just get in there. Uh, it's only a short ride, but it's kind of fun. You just push forward to go through it. Sometimes it's smooth, sometimes it's a little bit jerky. It's not a long... Oh, it's really struggling. There we go. Uh, oh, uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, probably because we're recording with Fraps, it's kind of not dealing with it very well. But, um, yeah, that gets us from the base to this double spawner where we've got... Our friends, the um, Hell Dogs, Hell Hounds, what are they called? Um, and they produce leather. We've got an absolute ton of leather as well now. Um, so, yes, we got this spawner there. And those guys are actually quite nasty. You don't really want to get in there amongst them. If you can possibly help it. And you've got to watch out that no creepers or skellies spawn in there. And as you're grinding away, whatever, they shoot you. That's not good. Uh, but come up here. And so there's another spawner. Spider spawner. Cave spider spawner. I don't like cave spiders. But having a spawner just there, and you can see it. And over there, you can see it, means that you can stand here and two spawners are generating mobs at the same time. And that's really good for generating lots of XP. So let's go back to the base. Or not. I think I'm still traveling. It's just going to lag out till. Oh, that's really weird. I wonder if that'll look weird in the video. Probably it will. Okay, so. Um, we kind of run out of room here, so we've made an auxiliary room here for lesser stuff. So we've kind of we've moved on from copper and all this other rusted stuff and average bows. So all that stuff is just put over here. Uh, leather, obviously. So how much leather we've got? So we could actually um, make as many leather things as we wanted. Um, and here we've got. All the iron. Oh, we can hear a golem getting munched. If I'm quick, you might see it. Well, because we didn't see it in the last one. There we go. So, they take a fair beating. It's, I'll stand back because it's pretty noisy. But yeah, every time they go pink, it's, it's taking damage from... That's that block that's squashing is pushing him in the head. And that's enough to make him take damage. But it's environmental damage, so it doesn't, you know, they don't get aggro to you or anything. They're just getting hurt on their own, theoretically. So, it does take a while. Sometimes there's even another one standing on his shoulders, and when this one dies, he probably didn't even see it, but... Oh, there you go. Speak of the devil. There's another one. Good. So let me show you... Um, this way. Um, it's a little bit of a roundabout way of getting there, but... Uh, let me show you where all that, that iron stuff is. So, if we come around the back here. This is the main sort of cave that we first started in. 
um, and this little cave here happens to be around the back so it's actually quite nice so there's you can just see that that's the chest there and there's some hoppers and then a chest and a hopper and a chest and a hopper etc and this one's filled so all the ones underneath it are filled can't open the chest unfortunately but this one is empty so um, yeah this chest is probably not full or half full or something so yeah we've got a way to go because that goes up here and then in there and that's where our friends the iron golems get munched what else can I show you oh, I wanted to show you the mines and this groovy painting which I really like I didn't know they got that big actually I don't, I don't know how many squares that is one two three four four by four is it wow it's huge so to get the mithril anvil which I'm very proud of um, I had to spend quite a lot of time in the mines um, and our mines are now reasonably extensive um, and by that I mean really quite expensive extensive um, what I do is I always place my torches on the left as I'm going as I'm mining out so if I ever want to go home I just make sure they're on the right that's quite logical easy to do and you never actually get lost anywhere even if you go around in circles or anything weird so what I did is every now and then I'll just make a chest and fill the cobble because you you don't have much inventory space right so I mean some of these are a long way that one's not quite full I think I found some adamantium down here but um, yeah it gives you an idea what oh well, the other thing too is I'd go a, a distance too too high and then do a one by three peephole to see if there's any thing interesting because sometimes you can be lucky and <laughs> that was completely not staged um, so I'll use my fortune pick on this because um, you get more let's see I only got one then but sometimes it drops two and that was only one two I think yeah one two turn left right here uh, okay so let's see Wow, it's quite a lot here. Uh, let's put a torch down, or up, or on the side, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of impromptu mining here. Quite like getting gold. Well, that was pretty hopeless. My fortune pick didn't bring me any fortune. Uh, oh, it didn't pick it up because I'm full of stuff. There we go. I think I can get some more redstone though. You can see we're very close to bedrock here, and um, that was intentional. I tried um, mining a little higher, and um, don't really want that. Is there more redstone? I think we've got quite a lot of reds. Oh, don't you dare destroy my pick! That would be very bad. In this version um, of might, things have qualities, I think. Is it qualities? Yeah. I don't ask me what a quality is, but what can I get rid of? This, this, this. There we go. Is that all of it? Um, yeah, so if I look at this, it's average quality. I don't know. I just I'll show you slash version might uh, 81 which I think there's an 82 already so I want to go home I'm a bit confused about where I'm going but if the torch is on the right we'll find our way back oh Nemex here I'm recording a video oops there we go uh, if you ever see the oh now if you see it 
change sides, you think, hang on, what's going on here? Well, they change sides because you've got to go down an intersection. Uh, and there you go. That's slightly, they're slightly wrong. These ones are on the wrong side. I think they might have been put there by Nemec. Um, uh, I don't think he knows my convention, so I'll forgive him. Anyway, um, yeah, so I tried mining a little higher up and I just kept hitting lava, 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 lava. Hi all, high level Nemec says hello from, oh he's in 62, level 62. Check it out. <laughs> That's nuts. Um, yeah, so uh, we're exploring the nether. Do I dare go there and show you? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll risk life and limb and go to the nether and show you. Um, I hope it's safe. I did. We did spend a bit of time making it reasonably safe. Oops, I don't think I should eat while I'm actually changing because that might cause problems. It takes a while to render the nether on my machine anyway. You sort of seem to get this sort of black screen for quite a long time. Um, and if there are angry mobs around you, they seem to get a free hit in before you can even see them or do anything, which is pretty aggra aggravating. If you, Well, this is really taking a while. There are some bugs in Might, it's true. Um, partly because there's some bugs in Minecraft 164. I mean, it was certainly not a perfect version. I don't know if there ever has been a perfect version of Minecraft. I mean, 1.8 is shaping up to be a pretty good version from the looks of things. Um, not that I've played it massively, but they seem to be putting a lot of spit and polish on it. Well, this is the nether. It's very dark, as you can see. Oh, hello. There we go. Okay, so it's a bit cramped. Um, and Nemec's there in his, uh, his full iron gear, enchanted iron gear. It's probably got some pretty good stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, we've half slabbed this so that it's a bit safer. So um, just this little area so that um, the pigmen can't spawn here. Not sure you can get out if you're half slab here, so I've left these two squares, but... Um, and there's Nemec's patented gate. And what's he done here? I need to be careful. Don't like the pig man, but... Ooh, it seems to be quite a path he's made here. Fantastic. Check it out. This looks amazing. <laughs> I haven't been here. No wart. Three blaze spawners. So yeah. Um, wow. So we found a fortress, but no nether wart. I need to be careful I don't get lost in here and end up dying. I find uh, it quite... Um, I'll just say that before I forget. Um, yeah, I'll come back, but um, clearly uh, a lot of work has been done here. What have we got tons, tons of nether brick. Uh, I, I look, I think this is a suitable place to stop. So we're trying to find a fortress to get the nether wart so we can get potions and then, yeah, then it's off to try and find a stronghold, which will be a challenge. But with infinite iron and reasonable stuff, there's some hope. It's I think it's possible. All right, on that note, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, comment. I actually like comments more than anything. I don't really care about likes and subscribes. Well, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, until next time, be good. See ya.